guests to the 21C Museum Hotel in Cincinnati are in for a real treat in the hotel lobby and that feast for the eyes begins right here at the reception desk with this monumental Kahinde Wiley painting. Fantastic. There isn't a museum in the world that wouldn't be happy to have this in its collection and that's kind of the premise of the 21C Museum Hotels, uh, started by a couple in Louisville, Kentucky, who were major contemporary art collectors, and they found themselves opening their home just outside of Louisville and their personal contemporary art collection to visitors so often they even started doing bus tours. Eventually decided that they were going to move their art collection out of their home and into a hotel, first in Louisville, but the brand has spread nationally. This Cincinnati property, this is the third one I've stayed in. I've also stayed at the one in Louisville and Oklahoma City as well. And all of the 21C properties pride themselves on having museum quality contemporary artwork on view throughout the public spaces, and boy, that's what you've got right here with this Kahinde Wiley piece. Rare is the museum I go to now that doesn't have a Kahinde Wiley saw. Uh, boy, the Harn Museum at the University of Florida in Gainesville, Rubel Collection in Miami. Uh, the list goes on and on and on and on. Of course, Kahinde Wiley uh, paying homage to the uh, great painters from history, but with a contemporary spin, putting black figures uh, who he often meets on the street into the poses of historical paintings. This could be like a Goya Maha painting or a Manet Olympia painting. Uh, we'd be familiar with something from uh, the Romantic period, the Renaissance, where you'd have uh, beautiful white woman on a chaise lounge reclined like this as sort of the muse figure. Well, from Kahinde Wiley, if you don't think it gets any better than that, it does. Because right behind me, boom, Bisa Butler quilt. <laughs> Unbelievable. Bisa Butler has changed the game for quilting and art in America and what is expected of contemporary art and contemporary art museums. Because of Bisa Butler and what she has done with quilting, merging quilting with painting, there's no paint here, this is all hand-stitched quilt. Every art museum I go to now has quilts on view. It is an expectation. It is no longer the exception. It is the rule. Look at the color in that face. Look at the expression. Bisa Butler, a genius, brilliant artist. Portrait quilts are what she's best known for. She's had portrait quilts on the cover of Time Magazine. And again, totally redefining what is expected of contemporary art and contemporary art museums. She takes photographs of these historical figures, all black, and then works them into quilts like this and the detail and the time is just remarkable. So right here in the lobby, 21C Museum Hotel in Cincinnati, you've got Kahinde Wiley and Bisa Butler, two of the most important contemporary artists, two of the essentials of the 21st century and two outstanding pieces of art. Wow, what a treat upon checking in, but it actually continues from there. What we're looking at right now is Jeffrey Gibson, and I just wrote about Jeffrey Gibson, a, a Cherokee Choctaw indigenous artist at Forbes.com for an exhibition of work he has in the Northeast. And this is a piece that is inspired by the old ghost dance and ghost dance shirts. That was a movement in the late 1800s, a response to indigenous culture and indigenous peoples being 
wiped away by the encroachment of white culture, white settlers, manifest destiny, the US Federal Army, and the ghost dance was uh, a ritual, a ceremony that indigenous people hoped would return their way of life and cast away the white people. These artworks here are also by Jeffrey Gibson and include some uh, Southeastern native um, weaving techniques, some quill work, remarkable pieces there, wearable art. And when I think about wearable art and contemporary art, I think Nick Cave, sound suit. <laughs> And they've got one of those two. You see the Kahinde Wiley to the right, the Bisa Butler to the left, and boy, right here in the middle is a Nick Cave sound suit. Nick Cave, an artist uh, from Los Angeles, and he was inspired to create these fantastical sound suits, which seem so colorful and joyful, but he was inspired to create them by the Rodney King beating and verdict and a warning from his mother as a child to be careful as he walked through the world as a young black man. And these sound suits are a response, his attempt to cover himself, to create a barrier between himself and the world. These are actually wearable, all of Nick Cave's sound suits, and he's created hundreds at this point. They're all spectacular found objects and, um, all kinds of different applications of um, you know, different fabric and beads, you name it. This one has a ton of sequins. I am not as good with my fabric art as I am with my paintings and some other things. Uh, some of his sound suits have, you know, giant ornaments on them and they, uh, have a, a much more architectural quality than this one, but you can actually see in this sound suit how that would be wearable, and, and Nick Cave does wear all of these sound suits. Again, his attempt to create a, a second skin, so to speak, to hide his color as a uh, young black man growing up in Los Angeles around the time of oh, Rodney King, and uh, again, trying to conceal his race through his artwork. Magnificent, magnificent uh, display of contemporary art here in the lobby at the 21C Hotel. Those were the artists I, I was familiar with. There's a lot of great pieces here from artists that uh, I am not familiar with, including one that really turned me on. Here's another fabric quilt piece. But how about this thing over here? Look at that. Look at the scale of this, for one, the image, which is spectacular, but we're going to get up close and see the amazing intricacy and the detail here of these um, oh, family portraits of a sort. But if we come in real, real close, we've got, you know, that's a Christmas ornament attached to a chain. We've got a watch face there, costume jewelry. Um, these decorative fake flowers, all kinds of fabric work, again, fake costume, beads, jewelry, garters, necklaces, creating these wonderful portraits. And They are so lively and expressive. And what great color, the pinks, the greens. Great work here on the 
faces. This is actually three separate pieces all hung together as a triptych. Again, we see the costume jewelry in there, the beading, the fabric application. A remarkable piece of artwork here. And the artist is Ebony G. Patterson. Again, I was not familiar with Ebony G. Patterson, but she is certainly someone I'm going to look up and hanging right here with the heavy hitters of contemporary art, Kahinde Wiley and Bisa Butler and Nick Cave, Jeffrey Gibson, all artists who have had major, major museum shows, major uh, institutional and uh, collector interest. Boy, she fits in. And this is all <laughs> right for anyone to see here in the lobby at the 21C Museum Hotel, Cincinnati, Ohio.